Health Department just proposed rules on food cart pods in Multnomah County. This includes proposed inspections for the food pod owners. Right now, there are none. Elise Haas is live at a popular food cart pod on Hawthorne to explain what this proposed ordinance would do. Elise? Yes, Jenny. So obviously Portland has a very vibrant food cart scene. I'm at one of my favorites here on Hawthorne, but this food cart pod is just one of many. In fact, Multnomah County has certified nearly a thousand food carts, and that shakes out to be about 60 to 100 food cart pods. So it's definitely a bustling business, and the county wants that in business to keep um, being successful, but the commissioners feel like there needs to be more rules and regulations in order to keep that happening. So the health department says that some food cart pods pods are run better than others and things advance before regulations can catch up to them. So they admit this is a little bit of catching up on their part. So to make this ordinance, uh, 40 health officials along with dozens of food cart owners, pod owners and patrons came up with ways to help regulate food cart pods, so the entirety of them, to protect the community's health. They developed a proposed ordinance for how to maintain them without constraining them. And the ordinance would look at concerns like wastewater, freshwater, utilities, rodents and vector control, installing proper electricity to avoid fires, and then setbacks to make sure that they can also again avoid fires once again and that way people can get in and out safely. So they'll also require permits with this ordinance. Like we really wanted to keep this focused on some of the basic sanitation needs of a food uh, pot, food cart pod. Currently, we inspect the food carts in the inside of them to make sure that the food that they're making is safe um, for people to uh, consume. But this is really we focused on the outside, the whole entire parking lot of where those carts are actually sitting. And the commissioners approved the first reading today. No one came up to make public comments, but you can still comment online for the next 30 days. And the second reading of the ordinance will happen on October 10th. And if it gets approved, then it will go into effect at the beginning of next year. Reporting live here in Southeast Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. It seems like a good idea to, you know, just help keep everything and everyone safe. All right. Thank you, Elise. Exactly.